Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 281. The idiom today is to hit the ground running. Okay, let's look at the note here. Uh, if someone hits the ground running, he or she begins something with a lot of energy or enthusiasm right from the very beginning, right from the very start, uh, especially if they do it well. That's the way we say it. So somebody begins uh, by, you know, hit, hitting the ground running. Okay, let's continue. They say there are three possible origins for this idiom. Uh, the first one is to do with troops, or soldiers basically, dropped into a combat zone uh, from a parachute, which does seem to make sense because, you know, as they're landing uh, and they're getting close to the ground, they, you know, they sometimes try to run with the landing. So they hit the ground running, so it does actually make a lot of sense. Um, but it may be the least, like, least likely, since some citations have been found in the late 1800s and the early 1900s before planes were used. So if, the, if it was around before planes were used, that maybe it's not really the origin. Although, if it's not the origin, they may have helped popularize it more so that it lasted this long. Um, you know, from from soldiers. But anyway, let's look at the second one. The second possible origin is the ideas of uh, hobos or stowaways on trains who may jump off the train just before it gets to the station as it is slowing down so they don't get caught. Yeah, because technically it's illegal. If they wait till they pull into the station and then they find them in the train, they, they may get arrested. So they may jump off as it's slowing down, just going near the stations, this way they don't get caught. So they may, they may also have to hit the ground running, moving while the train is moving. So that's the idea. Okay, and the third possible origin was connected to the Pony Express. This was the really early days of the post office. Uh, when mail was delivered by horseback, not a mailman, but well, technically, I guess he was the mailman. Uh, by horseback riders would hit the ground running in order to change mounts. I guess they met up with another one and they switched from different areas, you know, and continued on, I guess, delivering the mail. Uh, okay. Would hit the ground running uh, in order to change mounts in a prompt way without wasting time. So I guess it really could be any of these, even though probably the last two are more likely. Okay, and we have three examples here, uh, exa you know, the way we use it today. So the first one is, the boss expects, expects us to hit the ground running on this project. All right, that's a typical way you might hear it. Or number two, we need to hit the ground running. Uh, they expect us to have this building finished within six months. So we need a, a good start. We need to, you know, have a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy right from the very start. And number three here, I'm going to send Bob Johnson uh, on this assignment. I can always count on him to hit the ground running, you know, with a lot of energy, enthusiasm right away. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.